Good morning. Morning and welcome to Friday. 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 Uh, if you are watching, do pop a hello in the comments so that I can be polite and say my hellos. Uh, and we're here to do what we normally do on a Friday morning. And, uh, and it's empty. <laughs> Have an empty, empty space. Type something, someone. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to waffle inanely. And my coffee's too hot to drink at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that a complaint <laughs> already? A complaint already. The coffee's too hot. <laughs> there we go. Good morning, Claire. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Leslie. And good morning, Andrea. Good morning, Kerry. Lots of lovely people. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, Carla. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Rachel. Lots of people there. Look, you're all hiding. Good morning, Lisa. Now it's all coming in. <laughs> Good morning, Jane. Good morning, Trudy. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, Jane. Lots of people. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Janet. Good evening, Sephora. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, Emma and Karen. You haven't said good morning to me. I haven't said good morning to you, no. Good morning. <laughs> That's because I've seen you. She's grumpy, oh, just so you know. No, I've got a bit of a headache. <laughs> <All right. laughs> no, it's a weird day today, isn't it? It's a very weird day today. Uh, good morning, Anne. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I think the UK in particular, uh, on the passing of good old Queenie, we're in a bit of a pause moment. So, yeah, very strange, sad energies at the moment. Uh, good morning, Luna. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Kerry. Uh, good morning, Maria. Lots of people. Thank you so much. for Wow, loads of people just in the numbers. <laughs> loads of people. I hope you had it. Thank you, Emma. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm allergic to a few things. Um, Last night I overdosed on essential oil. I think that's the problem. Tell them what you did. <laughs> Can you, okay. I put essential oil on. I have the wool tumble dryer balls and I put a little bit of essential oil on them. But How much? It came out quite a lot. <laughs> it came out far too much. But I put it in the tumble dryer anyway. And it happens to be Eric's dog blankets. Yeah. And then I sat there yesterday evening next to one of the dog blankets and all I could smell was the essential oil and it's given me a headache this morning. So, uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> uh, it'll clear. It'll clear. Uh, Maria feels very surreal. It does, doesn't it? Yes. Um, I am 53, so I've only ever known Queen Elizabeth on the throne. So, yeah, very, very strange. Very strange kind of, whew, yeah try you know it's one of those yeah which actually prompted i was going to talk about something else today and i thought actually let's talk about the cycles of life today because it seems very relevant um, charlie's today. there too isn't he he's been there all our lives isn't charles it? has been there too yes um yeah oh you know long live the king um definitely but yeah she was everyone's grandma really wasn't she kind of thing uh, Maria says I need supervision. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, Pete normally does the laundry. So, you know, I was unsupervised doing a job that's not on my list. <laughs> Good morning, Karen, in rainy Cornwall. Oh, yeah, but it's Cornwall. So, you know. Good morning, Xenia. Uh, yeah, so I thought with, you know, it's been a weird week, actually, in the Patterson household. Uh, and it kind of made me think about the cycles of life. <laughs> Good morning, Vanessa. You're still broke. Wow, well, that teaches you for pole dancing. <laughs> I know you weren't pole dancing. Perhaps it would have been better if you were. <laughs> Good morning, Helen. Yeah, it's a weird energy today, but it's been a, a it's been a week of cycles this week. Uh, our youngest uh, our son started college this week, and that was very surreal. That's, that was like another rite of passage kind of thing, um, which has been very strange. 
sort of getting into the routine and you know scared that it'll have to be on a bus unsupervised um, so that's kind of you know a right passage at the cycle of life our daughter gets married in a couple of months so you kind of think life moves so quick I can't even believe it's September this whole year has kind of sped past um it is the sort of cycles of things uh and we you know the girls and I were at a festival a couple of weeks ago and people were already talking about booking for the next one as soon as the first one had finished and everything seems to go at 500 miles an hour at the moment as well and then with the uh, passing of dear old Queenie yesterday end of an era um, and beginning of a new one this is kind of what I thought the theme today would be the end of an era but you know moving forward as well beginning of an era, um, of an era yeah there were today's a weird day today is kind of i think today everyone is on pause the whole of the uk is kind of paused for a moment um in respect which is you know the comments and the outpouring and the absolute support and respect for the queen that have been across social media that i've seen has been amazing and has been fantastic i've only had to unprint two people <laughs> <laughs> most people most people have been really really respectful um because not only is she, was she our queen she was a grandmother and a mother and a great grandmother so yeah someone's family member um but did a great service for our country so we are in a kind of pause at the minute but obviously prince charles became king charles iii yesterday as well so that cycle kind of continues and the fact that the queen was a grandmother and a mother and a, there are all the generations too um we have a new king king charles iii but prince william now becomes a first heir to the throne as well so that cycle kind of continues and i think it does it, it it's for everyone really like us with ben going to college this week it's a new cycle of his life new cycle of our life getting used to it <laughs> um it is it is all uh, cycles of life uh, you're not going to start singing are you i'm not going to sing no. really not going to sing uh, good morning claire had a migraine yesterday yuck triggered by food um that's not good that's not good christine sat here with a glass of cold hazelnut chocolate milk i got fed up waiting for pete to make hot chocolate <laughs> Well, that's rude. <laughs> I'll turn around then. I'm halfway there. <laughs> good morning, Christine. Uh, good morning, Samantha. Uh, and life does move on. My youngest is due to go to uni next year. Yeah, it does. The whole cycle of life kind of speeds through, doesn't it? It feels like it's going quickly. When I was younger, it was school summer holidays seemed endless. <laughs> now this whole year's disappeared in a blink um and god save the king definitely definitely maria it ebbs and flows it does and that's kind of what i thought today would be an interesting um talk really ebb and flow of life cycle of life because we deal with cycles in in the witchcraft world in the magical world as well so i thought it'd be interesting to talk about uh, Jane wearing black today. Yes, I, I got a darker colour on today. I did. I was going to wear a bright blouse and then I thought, no, actually, it didn't feel right. Um, but good old Queenie loved colour. So there is that. <laughs> um, Karen, it's a liminal space today. It is, isn't it? It's a very strange feeling. And I did um an hour about actually doing today's talk, but I thought, no, because I think... I think it helps to talk and I think it, it's an interesting subject the cycles of life that perhaps as pagans do we have a slightly different aspect on life and death different perspective on life and death than a lot of other religions thoughts don't know uh, Carla felt like the nation's grandmother absolutely good morning Charlie 
uh, let's get some of these up. Yeah. In history, we learned of heads of monarchy changing often, but we had her always. I think that's the thing, isn't it? She has been with us for 70 years, long time. Uh, Louise, hello, interested as my daughter started high school and having a tricky time. That's uh, school can be really tricky for some children. I know I um, touch wood. My children were always okay there were a few bullying situations but they went in prepared and uh, we made little protection pouches particularly for my daughter she still carries it now because she works in a school now <laughs> uh, we made her a little crystal pouch with bits and pieces in for her to feel protected and for her to feel confident uh, and kids like making spell pouches particularly if it involves crystals um, at Sephora at least you didn't get woken up this morning at five-ish by a policeman shining a torch in your face <laughs> no there is that um I don't want to know why he was in my bedroom for a start but <laughs> uh, and I am right as she always dressed she did didn't she that's yeah I, she did she loved her color <laughs> yes cycles I'm assuming we're not talking about bikes no because like bicycles means exercise and I'm not even gonna go there <laughs> Good morning, Naomi. Uh, Christine, I've got my religious jeans on today. I have holes in the knees and a black spotty top on because I got dressed in the dark this morning. <laughs> she has even, that's an interesting thing. I would just mention that to my James Bond fan. She's been queen for every James Bond. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. excellent, excellent. Good morning, Heather. Uh, and the helicopter ride. <laughs> and the helicopter ride, yeah. Uh, good morning, Louise. Um, uh, Claire, I noticed when the Queen met Liz Truss on the fireplace behind her was no one insults me with impunity in Latin signaling. <laughs> uh, I think the Queen had a really good sense of humour. Um, bless her. So, yeah. Good morning, Jill. So, I, yeah, cycles. Uh, for me, this week's been cycles. It's been cycles and rites of passage, um, personally, within her family, but also the Queen as well. Um, that's an interesting thought, Jane. In every cycle, there has to be a constant, and the Queen is certainly one of them. Absolutely. Um, and I think within that cycle brings change, and there have been changes as well. The changes that she's seen, you know, would have seen in her lifetime. Amazing. Um, good morning, Mary Ann. But we do deal with cycles a lot at the... Um... <laughs> My brain's a bit slow this morning. <laughs> At the Children of Artemis Festival a couple of weeks ago, I was talking about the Triple Goddess. And of course, she is phases and she is cycles. She reflects. Good morning, Jackie. She reflects the cycles of our lives. Uh, the maiden, the mother, the matriarch, the crone. Um, and of course, that works with the male as well. Um, they are the cycles of our life that we go through. So they are all cycles. Um, and each phase has something to teach us. And we do hopefully learn from each phase. But everything goes through cycles. 60 minutes in an hour, and then it starts another hour. And 24 hours later, you're doing the same thing again. <laughs> uh, and the week. Then a week later, you're doing the week again. And the month. <laughs> and then the next month. And of course, the seasons. The seasons are a cycle. You go through them all and then you come back, you go through them all again. Uh, so we deal with cycles a lot. And of course, we work with seasons in magic as well. We work with the phases of our lives in magic as well. And a circle. And circle is probably one of the most recognized shapes, symbols in magic. Uh, the, the circle that protects, the circle that keeps in and protects from without. It's a lot of circles in magic, a lot of cycles as well. Uh, Janet, what do you do when you go through a cycle that you don't understand? I guess there's different options for that. Um, investigate. Research. 
meditation, trance, journeying, um, delving into why, divination to see why. Uh, we have perhaps lots of skills that others wouldn't have because we have all of those magical tools at our fingertips to be able to investigate, to dig deeper. Uh, shadow work, of course, quite a big undertaking, but that can help us see why we don't understand things or learn to ride them out. Choices, I guess, isn't it? Choices to, to, to it all. Charlie, cycles seem so important. Yeah, cycles, seasons of time of year in nature, child becoming adult, leaving home, cycles, seasons seem our constant companion change. I think that is the one guarantee, isn't it, that there will always be change. <laughs> uh, change for the good, change for the bad, change. Things always change, sometimes in small ways, sometimes in big ways, but it does change. Eva still working on the triple goddess lesson. It is all about cycles. It is. Uh, and every person goes through cycles. Um, Christine, breathe. Yeah, breathing is a cycle, isn't it? You breathe in, you breathe out. You breathe in, you breathe out. Yeah. Plants do it too. Absolutely, Vanessa. Um, yes, we see it in the garden, don't we? Uh, that I was thinking about as well as I was looking out there this morning. We're kind of coming to an end of a cycle because autumn is just around the corner you, you can it's still warm during the day but you can feel it you can feel that christmas in the morning and at the end of the day as well you can like christmas. Smack. christmas isn't that far away either <laughs> i haven't even thought about that yet <laughs> um i'm doing my first ever christmas dinner this year as well for the whole family which is scary <laughs> but yeah we're we're on a kind of pivotal bit at the moment where summer's coming to an end and autumn is just about to begin so the garden reflects that as well kind of at that stage where I'm we're not really deadheading anything now we're letting nature kind of do its thing and produce the seed heads um as a wind down really ready for the next season ready for the, the cycle to continue going um good morning Barbara Leslie, can't quite believe the Queen is gone. I thought she would be here for many more years. Well, I guess 96 is a pretty good age to get to. But yeah, it was kind of like she would be there forever, wasn't it? Um, Leslie Ann, I think of time in spirals. Nice, where the wheel turns and shifts. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, yes, the wheel. Um, as pagans, a lot of us work with the wheel of the year. So you've got the four sabbats that keep the wheel turning. You work from one, you work to the next um, as the wheel turns and keeps turning. Uh, Jane says, poor lady run into the ground. Her mum lived longer because she had a chance to retire earlier. Today, I don't think the Queen would have even retired, even if she had the option. Uh, she made a promise to the country when she was coronated and um she made a promise to serve and i think that was what she was all about Oop. sephora it was in her dna i believe her heart was a bit broken from losing philip oh absolutely absolutely i think you could see it the moment that they were separated that was the down downward bit but she kept working right up until the end so she was superstar definitely uh, Jane says TK Maxx already have a Christmas aisle next to their Halloween aisle. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? Uh, Jane, I know things seem to be in a big rush. I know things seem to be in a big rush anymore. It's weird, isn't it? The whole everything moves so quickly these days. Good morning, Angela. Uh, Leslie was thinking that last night. I think when she lost her husband, it broke her. Yeah, I, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, let's. Oh, get some of these up. Emma, physical health and mental health can also go in cycles. Yes, absolutely. Ups and downs, illnesses and wellness. There's cycles in everything. Yes, definitely. Um, I think we all, particularly if you have uh, a health con medical condition, um, you do. You have ebbs and flows of it, don't you? You have periods when it's good, periods when it's bad. And mental health as well. Yeah, 
definitely it all goes in cycles i think perhaps with health and mental health physical and mental health that is a case a lot of the time not all the time a lot of the time not a medical professional but someone with a lifelong medical condition you can often pinpoint what sparks it off you can often pinpoint what kicks you into a bad cycle of health um it's not easy to change it, but sometimes you can. Jackie, in the current cycle of our country, our politics, our society, our environment, it's all been feeling a bit dark out there. And then the Queen dies, which seems to be a pivotal moment. Will this be a catalyst to shift out of these strange times we currently find ourselves in? Food for thought, a shift definitely, but where to? It is one of those moments, isn't it? Someone mentioned earlier, it is a liminal moment. Karen said it's a liminal moment. It is. We're in a kind of pause. Where it will go from here, who knows? Upwards, we hope. It's been a difficult time for the world, really. So, fingers crossed, it will be uh, positive. <laughs> Good point, Sephora. Why is it the older you get, it seems the faster the cycles get? <laughs> Yes, like I say, school holidays, summer holidays, when you were a kid, seemed to last forever. Now you just blink and it, it all disappears. Is it because we're busier now we're older? Because we have diaries and schedules and all these things that we have to do and we've always got all these things planned forward? Possibly, I don't know. Xenia, agree as for medical conditions. When you have a weakness somewhere, something hits you easy. Yes, we have to look after ourselves. Yes, absolutely. Um, it does. And I think if you if you do have a medical or health or mental health condition, sometimes you can pinpoint what the trigger was to set off that bad cycle. Emma, I know my triggers now, but never used to. So this is a learning curve, so all a learning curve, especially in the realm of cycles. Um, it is. And I think we, we're often, we deal with issues or problems and we get caught in this cycle. And all those problems and issues repeat until we recognise what that thing is that's setting it all off. Because otherwise you just go back round in that cycle again. Um, there is spell work you can do to break bad habits, to break cycles. Uh, there are crystals and herbs and candle magic that can all be worked to break cycles, um, to break the negative cycles. Uh, but it's it's pinpointing at first, I think. I think it's recognising that you've been caught in a negative cycle. Uh, oops. Jane, oh, I've stopped eating bread to lower my blood sugar and noticed my IBS has improved. Shame because I love bread. Yeah, bread's, bread's nice, but it is often one of those things, isn't it? I have found I have bowel disease myself, so what I eat does affect. Um, I have noticed homemade bread a lot easier to work with than bought bread because it doesn't have all the nasties in it. Uh, Zephora. Any thoughts on the rainbows that appeared over the castles at the moment she passed? Wasn't that fantastic? <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. I work magic with rainbows and we talked about it in the weather chat the other week. Um, I think I'm along with everyone else. It was one of those signs. It was Mother Nature, the universe, whatever it is, the divine, whatever it is you believe in. I think uh, there were two rainbows, weren't they? Um, two hearts uh, back together is my thought anyway Xenia ridiculous I wanted to show my American friend the Halloween stuff when she visits tomorrow because the, yeah it's Halloween's a weird one um, when I was a child Halloween wasn't really celebrated um, we I mean I was born on Halloween so it was celebrated because it was my birthday <laughs> but we didn't have trick-or-treaters or uh, I lived in the south of England still. We didn't have trick-or-treaters. We didn't have Halloween parties. We didn't really have any of that. It was only once I was in my 20s, really, that that kind of started uh, where I lived. Um, but now it kind of, it kind of, it's a blink and then it's Christmas again. But in the shops, it's all about money and profit. So that's the way it goes. 
Jane, cycles don't get quicker. We get slower. Yeah, I think you might be right there, Jane. <laughs> might be right there. <laughs> Eva, it occurred to me recently that the bad cycle I am in mentally, physically is triggered by persistent insomnia, but I'm still trying to figure out what has triggered the insomnia. I think tracking down these things that cause the bad cycles is often the hard part, isn't it? Um, but you're getting there by the sounds of it. You've you've got the first part. It's um, working out the next part. But once you do, <laughs> then you'll you'll know. You'll recognise. You'll be able to deal with it. Angela, I was always told life is like a toilet roll. The closer you get to the end, the faster it goes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hurry <coughs> menopause. Oh, evilness. <laughs> Perimenopause, another part of the phase of life, affects everyone differently. Some sail through it, some don't. Uh, but it is, it's another part of that cycle of life, isn't it? And it brings all kinds of delightful things. Uh, Maria need to do a cord cutting that is one of the options if you are stuck in that bad cycle and you recognize that you're stuck in a bad cycle cord cutting is a very good way of releasing that uh, definitely heather rainbows the bifrost path to bring her and philip together yes um the rainbow the rainbow bridge literally to uh, to the other side definitely Okay, Claire is suggesting freeze bread and then toast it and buy it without vinegar. Better for IBS. Freeze it. Okay, that's interesting. Know that one. Jackie, yes, the rainbows were quite magical. Hello, teenage son. Your packed lunch is on the side in the kitchen. I'm a good mom, aren't I? <laughs> Leslie Ann, the blue light from phone and other screens has been shown to treat insomnia. Oh, okay. Yes, I have. Yeah, I think. Now, I use my phone to go to sleep. I don't use it to go to sleep, actually. It just makes me go to sleep. There's a story here, honestly. I've been listening to podcasts uh, as I lay down in bed and just before I go to sleep. Instead of reading, because my eyes are really tired usually at the end of the day from looking at the computer screen all day. I love to read. So I have been listening to podcasts and listening to audiobooks. The trouble is, <laughs> I listen. Uh, uh, what did I start this week? Uh, I started this week listening to uh, Around the World in 80 Days, the Jules Verne. I think the first night I made it to chapter two, woke up a couple of hours later, <laughs> and I had only heard two chapters, but the book was gaily talking away to itself. <laughs> And I have been listening to lots of history podcasts as well. And I've learned, oh, 10, 15 minutes of lots of subjects. <laughs> but then I've fallen asleep. So I think for me, listening to podcasts and audiobooks via the phone actually sends me to sleep. <laughs> but once I wake up and turn it off, I do move the phone out of the way and turn it over so that the screen's not um, glaring. Because it is supposed to uh, be unhelpful, isn't it? Uh, Sephora says Halloween has been Americanized. Uh, well, Hall Halloween is Americanized, isn't it? The whole trick or treat thing is from America. Um, with the sweets and the candy and everything, it has been origins in um, Ireland anyway. But uh, yes, I know what you mean. I'm probably not making a lot of sense today. Eva, like that Meg. Oh, it's a La set. Most expensive mug I've ever bought, but it's very nice. <laughs> and diet has helped for any stomach issue. I suffer and have cut out lots of food, plus plenty of self eating, which keeps things comfortable. Excuse me for a moment. Have you got your lunch? Have you got your phone? Have you got your lanyard? <laughs> Don't forget your lanyard. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there? Uh, no, I think that's it. Have a nice day. <laughs> totally jealous. It's 
got geology and classical civilizations to me. Very jealous. Anyway, <laughs> yes, uh, having a bowel disease, I have ulcerative colitis. Um, it is not curable. It is manageable with steroids. Uh, but I have noticed that there are certain foods that I am called can aggravate a situation. If I'm having a flare up, there are certain foods that foods that can aggravate that. So I think, you know, we have to everyone's individual. So you have to work out what's right for you. Uh, so for us, it's very nice looking coffee. It's at, um, it's called London New Tropics, and it is coffee with superfoods in it. Uh, and my grandson said the Queen has gone over the rainbow to play with our dog Libby, who passed away last year. Oh bless! There'll be a few corgis waiting for her, that's for sure. Um, Eva. Oh, yeah. I hope it's an easy journey for you, Eva. Um, perimenopause is, uh, can be very unpleasant. <laughs> Naomi, listening to audio, I always fall asleep and have to start again. Yes, I'm having to the next night <laughs> rewind <laughs> to where I think I was the night before. <laughs> Jane, I wonder if sticking yellow quality street wrappers over the blue lights will make them go green. Green's a much more relaxing colour. Well, you get to eat the quality street first, which is always a bonus. <laughs> Eva, I'm actually quite good about not having my phone near me at night. I fall asleep okay, but tend to wake up around three or so and now fall back to sleep. Some Something's waking you up then. Someone's wandering into your astral doodah. <laughs> Sephora, there's a setting on both phones, computers, and iPads to make the screen into night mode, which solves the issue of the blue light. Um, I do have that set on mine. The other thing you can do is set phones to airplane mode so it stops searching for signals and disturbing your sleep. You can set it. Yeah, I have mine. Mine's, mine switches into um, silent night mode overnight. Emma, I have thunder sounds playing at night. I may not be able to hear due to my hearing aid being out, but I feel the vibrations and it sends me to sleep. Interesting. Christine, I'm reading a book on Druidry and it's the best thing to get me to sleep. It's so complicated, my brain switches off. Oh, yeah, I've read books like that. <laughs> it says rocks. Yes, my son is doing ancient civilization no ancient history yeah civilizations he's doing greeks and romans anyway mythology and politics and um geology at college yes he's looking at rocks xenia <laughs> uh, most phones and computers have a blue filter so you could adjust it and the bluish light is filtered out um Maria, you develop digestive issues during perimenopause due to the lack of oestrogen. Yeah, I have I got indigestion, which is not fun. Um, Sephora, I used to find the lady who narrated Who Do You Think You Are, UK version, could put me to sleep before the first hour break. <laughs> I think that's it. I think listening to the sound of a voice is just very um, soothing, calming. Um, and is that A-level? Yes, he's doing, i get it right. He's doing three A-levels. He's doing A-level geology, um, classics and ancient history, classic civilizations and ancient history uh, with a view to going to university to do archeology. span um, So yeah, I'm a bit jealous. I'd like to be doing all of the subjects that he's doing for A-level. <laughs> but apparently having your mum come along to the college and do the same course as you is really embarrassing, I, you know. <laughs> but it is um you know talking about cycles today cycles of life death rebirth we do it a lot and we talk about it a lot in um in the pagan world it's tarot cards death tarot card is not death death generally unless you're in you know a james bond film it is about the death of things to have rebirth you have to have that destruction, the tower. You have to have that destruction uh, and a horrible bit 
<laughs> you have to have that get rid of, clear out, death, destruction, uh, purification to make way for the new stuff. Uh, you have to have that death so that you can have the rebirth, so that you can have that whole phoenix rising from the flames again. Um, it has that that cycle is there, and it has to be there. Um, it is the whole the whole of the world. The whole of life is all made up of those kinds of cycles, um, and we can work with it in magic as well. You can clear out that which no longer serves you. But I always say to anyone, if you are banishing, if you are removing, if you are cutting the cords, if you are having that kind of cut that bad cycle out of your life, remember to have the rebirth too. Remember to replace it with something positive because there's nothing that negative energy loves more than a void. <laughs> so once you've done all that clearing, that cutting, that getting rid of make sure to replace it with the positive stuff because it keeps the cycle going in a positive way rather than just repeating um and freya is doing history geography and psychology Ooh, that's a lot of headology stuff <laughs> jane i can never get to the end of brahms requiem before i fall asleep it's my favorite favorite is choral work of all time it is a beautiful piece beautiful piece Christine, that made me think of my ex. He was always trying to explain technical stuff. I was guaranteed to be snoring before he shut up. <laughs> Emma, you embarrassing. Don't believe it. Oh, I am apparently embarrassing. Um, we've been taking him to college and picking him up this week. He's going by the bus from next week because um, this is the first week we've been doing it. Um, but I'm not allowed to get out of the car <laughs> in the car park. <laughs> I have to sit and wait. Till he comes because I'm embarrassing. <laughs> um, bless him. Bless him. Uh, Sarah has an A-level in geology. It was great fun. Cycles of life too. Uh, geology is actually, he's doing geology because he needs to do it for archaeology, not because he wants to do it. I think he's, he's definitely more interested in the ancient history stuff. Uh, Jane, in the Sheridan Douglas Tarot, death means cutting away of dead wood. Yes, and if you look at a lot of the death cards, um, the Thoth one springs to mind. It is death with a scythe, and he's cutting away lots of spider's webs and cobwebs. Um, so he's cutting cords, he's cutting away all of those attachments to things that we don't need and to those things that no longer serve us. That's what it's all about. Charlie, love sewing, Halloween. It wasn't really celebrated when I was a child all year round. Any fancy dress. I know Christmas decks till no Christmas decks till November. Don't like the overlapping, it's confusing. I will admit, uh, I'm in two minds about Halloween, as it's my birthday. <laughs> uh, at the point where we had children and ha Halloween became trick-or-treating kids dressing up and where we live now kids knocking on the door all evening um that's how my birthday is spent handing out sweets to snotty children <laughs> um so we tend to like the queen i have an official birthday <laughs> and and the real birthday so we do the whole halloween thing on my actual birthday but we celebrate my birthday a couple of days before normally just because that's the way it goes but I do love sewing. I love autumn. I love winter. That Those are my seasons. But I love Christmas. I absolutely love. Not the whole commercial thing. Not the whole baby Jesus thing. But the energy. That positive energy. That another cycle. Energy that builds up. I like that whole. You can feel that energy in the air that kind of tingling and i love that energy arc up until the day our decorations actually come down on boxing day normally uh, because by the it's done for me then uh, the energy's gone it's done i want to clear out and i want to clear out ready for the new calendar year to come in but i love that ride of energy building up to the season um I just, I love it. And I, I will be watching 
really cheesy Christmas films in November. <laughs> um, sometimes I've been known to watch cheesy Christmas films in October, <laughs> depending on how bad the year's gone. <laughs> um, so I think it, for me, it is, it's the energy of the seasons. It's the cycle of the seasons. It's working with that energy, uh, with the Sabbaths. Uh, I don't celebrate a Sabbath on one day. So rain for me isn't just the 31st of October or 1st of November, how you want, however you want to look at it. It is the couple of weeks beforehand and a couple of weeks after. My seasons run into each other. It does not just one day on the calendar. Um, because it's all a cycle. There is no, right, that date, stop, that date, start, stop. It flows. The whole of the year flows. All of the seasons flow into each other. All of the Sabbaths flow into each other. It is that cycle again. Um, Maria, full moon, so perfect timing to move stuff along. Yep, ditch it, dump it. Um, during the waning moon, you can get rid of all kinds of stuff. Let the waning moon take it with it. Sephora pruning, removing the deadwood and branches which are destructive. There are some politicians that could do pruning. I think there's a lot. They're all as bad as each other. <laughs> um, they are all as bad as each other. Maria, good evening, Maria. Uh, Eva, did my undergraduate and graduate degrees in geology, most fun subject, really changes the way the sea will you oh really changes the way you see the world around you yeah i would love to be doing it either would i think it's fascinating charlie and there was not many fancy dress when i was a child i always wanted to dress as a witch <laughs> while the other girls wanted to be princesses yeah i think i was dressed as a witch quite often as a kid for fancy dress things <laughs> Jane, voices can be very soporific. I fell asleep in every commerce lecture at college, I ended up getting a subliminal O level. This is what I'm hoping with the podcast. I found some really fascinating podcasts. There's one called The Ancients, there's one called uh, British History, there's one called The Goddess Project, which I've been listening to as well. And I am hoping that once I've fallen asleep, I am still absorbing <laughs> the facts. <laughs> And all mums are embarrassing. I think all parents are, aren't they? Apparently, Pete is more embarrassing than me, which is something. <laughs> um, Penny, I can certainly feel the full moon energy approaching another cycle. The moon goes in cycles. She goes all the way around and comes back and starts again and goes, and so does the sun. The sun does it in 24 hours. The moon does it in 28-ish days. It's cycles. Uh, and I think perhaps particularly with the moon is a good example. You learn to ride the energy of that cycle. You learn to go with the flow of that energy because if you fight against it, particularly that old full moon energy, whew, if you fight against it, you're not going to sleep. <laughs> you're not going to concentrate. Uh, I think it is about learning how to work with those different phases of that cycle um yeah another cycle definitely another cycle um <laughs> sephora i see it as part of my job to be embarrassing as a mother good training for them well i you know i've had my moments i had a very nice woolly hat that had a big sheep on the front it went missing it disappeared and both children deny all knowledge of knowing where it go where it went <laughs> Um, but I do, you know, we've been out on days out. We went to Fishbourne Roman Palace, Ben and I, last year, and we went to Monkey World. Um, not because he wanted to see monkeys specifically, but he was fascinated with anthropology. So he wanted to see the chimpanzees from the point of man and evolution. My son is very special. <laughs> um, we had days out, but, you know, I had to have my outfit checked before we went out. <laughs> to make sure I wasn't embarrassing. That's <laughs> teenagers, isn't it? Uh, Leslie Ann, Halloween's my birthday too. Uh, yes, Leslie Ann and I were obviously separated at birth. <laughs> we, we were obviously twins separated at birth. That's just the only explanation for it. <laughs> Sephora, when is Halloween for you guys? Yeah, 31st of October. Uh, 
Samhain, Halloween, All Hallows Eve, 31st of October. Um, Jackie, we are the autumn people. Autumn, autumn is my time. <laughs> Definitely love it. Um, Sarah, lucky enough to go to Iceland and the Grand Canyon. Uh, my dad's been to Iceland. He thought it was amazing. And actually, Ben gets to go on a trip with the geology department to Iceland, apparently. My parents been to the Grand Canyon. They said it was one of the most amazing places they'd ever seen. Uh, and my dad's travelled the world. So that's quite a, a recommendation. I think I got a better feeling and uh, understand how they were created. Uh, it's Mother Nature, isn't it? Mother Nature has created some amazing places and they change. <laughs> they change. The whole landscape changes in cycles again. Um, we as England, as our island, the island, I-S, L-A-N-D, T, island, uh, we were joined to France at one point. But, you know, the world moved and we separated apart. So different landscapes again. Uh, Penny, favourite seasons are autumn and winter. Yes, the Christmas seasonal energy is potent. It is, and I love it. Jane, Yule is a magical time in the cycle of the year when the Oak and Holly Kings do battle to nudge the changing seasons along. It's interesting, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> well, I once, um, I was at a ritual once, uh, and Christine will probably remember this one, um, where the Holly and the Oak King had a battle with rubber chickens. <laughs> it was the most surreal Holly and Oak King battle I've ever seen. <laughs> um, oh, I'm really sorry, I have to answer the phone. Hello, you're live on camera. What can I do for you? You're a Wally. You have to go to reception and tell them they'll give you a guest pass. Okay. All right. I have sent Father Dearest back to get it, but I don't know. Go to reception first and tell reception that you've forgotten it and they'll give you a guest pass. If there's any problems, ring me back. Okay. Okay, you just call him and say that I'm doing that. Yes, I will do. Let me know if there's a problem. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> do you remember me saying to Ben as he went out the door, don't forget your lanyard? What did he do? Forgot his lanyard. <laughs> Teenage boys, eh? I do apologise. Anyway, hello, now the dog's here. I, you know, this is, um, I am a professional. <laughs> Welcome to my family. <laughs> um, yes, Holly and Oak Kings. Uh, you know, it took me a while to grasped my head around the idea of the Oak and the Holy Kings when I first learnt about them because to me it should have been the other way around. Uh, at, at the winter solstice I wanted the Holy King to win because he was Christmas but of course he doesn't because he rules the dark half so the Oak King wins to rule the light half. I know it's mad. <laughs> Christine, half the fun of Christmas is the build-up with all the lights and the faces of children. Magic is right there in their eyes. It is different with children, isn't it? They do bring an extra kind of magic to it. Thankfully, I still retain some of that magic myself, and I am very pleased and very grateful for that. Um, and Eric loves Christmas. He loves all the wrapping paper. <laughs> Maria, love Christmas films, still watch Halloween ones then also. Well, of, traditional to watch Practical Magic and Hocus Pocus, obviously. Janet loves autumn and winter. It is my favourite time of the year. Naomi, everything shifts slightly within the cycles of the year. That's interesting too, isn't it? Because the seasons, I don't know about you guys, but the seasons to me seem to be a little bit blurred these days. When I was younger, it did seem that every season had a kind of beginning, end, and then you moved on to the next one. And it was kind of set, and you knew what season you were in. It seems a little bit blurred now, particularly, I guess, as I now am a gardener, and you notice that specifically with the gardening aspects of things. Um, that the seasons do. I mean, last December, I still had pelargoniums flowering in the garden and roses. That's It's all a bit mixed up. 
so to me the kind of seasons are a little bit scriffy these days um right because savora is in new zealand so Sawain is april um so you're now coming to ostara um it is it is reversed isn't it it is completely reversed um but i guess too it must be affected by your seasons moving about as well Kerry's another autumn and winter go go autumn winter <laughs> Jackie, I love it, all the fun of Halloween. I'm pumpkin obsessed, is the lightweight fun. I put up a Halloween tree. Oh, I've seen some Halloween trees. They are amazing. Um, I do put Halloween decorations up. Uh, but I haven't got a Halloween tree. I think that's something to aspire to, isn't it? Uh, but then celebrate Samhain in my way, and then the same with Christmas and Yule. Yes, I am the only pagan in my family, so um, I do incorporate the cult. Christmas thing because that's what my family celebrate although none of them are religious we do it as a family celebration uh, in 53 years there hasn't been a Christmas where my brother and I and my parents haven't been together it's just one of those days when you always come together um, it's for me it's family it's family time um, but I do celebrate that on the Christmas dates but I do my own Yule celebrations too. Uh, Emma, I remember it was 12 days before Christmas when the decks went up in our house, up on the 13th and down on the 6th. The tradition in the house continued for the solstice instead now. Um, I can remember as a child, the tree not going up until Christmas Eve. Um, it was, that's just what happened. Dad used to bring a real Christmas tree home on Christmas Eve and that's when the decorations went up. Ours tend to go up on the 1st of December. In fact, they have been known to go up the last week of November, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> Angela, we do it the French way now. Are your decorations go up a few days before you all and stay up until in bulk? Candle mass. Okay, that's interesting. I'm all for Christmas decorations, really. Yeah, keep them up all year. I wouldn't. <laughs> no, because once Christmas is done, once that Christmas Day family thing's done for me, I want to clear out and I want to move on. Um, I'm not sure I could keep them up for that long. But it's interesting. I didn't know that tradition, Angela. Thank you for that. Emma, traditions could be considered as cycles in a way. Yes, passed down and adapted as the years go on and on. Yes, interesting concept. I agree, definitely. Um, and perhaps being tweaked or changing slightly uh, for each generation, but they get passed on. Let's face it, a lot of our witchcraft, a lot of our fairy beliefs, a lot of our folk magic is all taken from historic events, acts, writings. Um, it's all taken from things that people used to do and we've just adapted it and it's changed as each generation as each cycle has gone on sephora i have to give my husband a project during full moon otherwise it's a pain in <laughs> i think giving him projects is a good idea anyway <laughs> leslie my sleep is almost non-existent on a full moon uh, yeah that is the time when i do struggle the most to sleep i must admit good morning alex Karen, my children have just got used to my different dressing now. Yeah, see, my daughter's fine with that. She, she's got an eclectic taste just like me, so I don't think I've ever been embarrassing to her. But teenage boy, yeah, not so much. <laughs> Jane, we went to Florida in 98, and Halloween had already started in September there. Uh, yeah, I guess it, 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 I think it is a lot bigger in America. I don't know, I'm guessing. Um, because that's where a lot of the more trick-or-treat dressing up type traditions come from, although it originated here. Sephora, does anyone else get full colour mega dreams during full moon? Mine are very technical during the full moon. I, I get quite vivid dreams anyway. Um, but yes, the full moon is so powerful, it's not surprising. Really not surprising. Eva, geology really is all about cycles. Everything is a cycle. Yes, everything is, isn't it? Yes, a geology with the rocks and the layers, all cycles. Uh, 
and Freya went to Iceland for geography. It was amazing. Yeah, it looks and sounds amazing. <laughs> Christine, bloody rubber chickens drove me up the wall. They're still being used. <laughs> it was the most bizarre holly and, and oak king battle I've ever seen with rubber chickens. Um, Maria, yes, he forgot his lanyard. Yes, the teenager forgot his lanyard, despite me saying to him, don't forget your lanyard as soon as you went out the door. Anyway. <laughs> Maria, it's always grim time in autumn, strangely enough. Um, I, <laughs> for anybody that's not watched the TV series Grim, you need to watch it. It's brilliant. But it always seems to be autumn there, and it's always raining. <laughs> Just does. Kerry, Hocus Pocus 2 is out soon. It is. Uh, astrology, there's the other thing, Claire. Astrology says we're entering a new 12-year cycle just now. Astrology, it's all cycles. The moon passing through the different planets, the sun passing round, and everything going round, <laughs> and all the planets, everything going round, the zodiacs, all going round. Yeah, sun signs, moon signs, it's all a cycle. Um, it is, everything is. Jane, when my kids were young, it was my job to make Christmas happen in our house and all the hard work and shopping eroded the magic for me. Yeah, I kept, my mum used to put so much effort into Christmas. In fact, she still did up until last year when my brother took on the mantle. This year, it's my turn. We're going to alternate my brother and I to give my mum a rest. <laughs> but yeah, she, I can't even imagine. At times, my mum used to do Christmas dinner for like 25 people. It's ridiculous. Um it made Christmas for us, obviously, but I, you know, the amount of work that goes into it, it was all worthwhile when my daughter said to me recently how magical Christmas has always felt for her. Yes, same for me. Um, my mum made Christmas for us when we were kids, um, and well, um, till we were adults as well. Uh, but it's a lot of work, a lot of work. Louise, I have some twigs I sprayed silver and I hang different things in it at different times of the year. Uh, a Sabbath tree. Love it. Xenia, Halloween tree. I love the idea. Yes, have an LED light tree and put a foliage garland on it. Would be nice to add some Halloween ornaments to. Oh, go for it. Definitely. Karen, mine go up on the 1st of December. That's usually when mine go up, Karen. Barbara, autumn is my favourite season. It is blurred now, hot like summer, cold like winter, with just a few true fall like days. It has, isn't it? It does seem to have, the edges have blurred somehow. Um, and they kind of, yeah, a bit mixed up. Uh, Angela, so do we keep in the light in the darkest part of the year and they come down when the light has returned and the very first signs of spring are starting to show? Okay, this is France and the Christmas decorations. That makes sense. That makes absolute sense. It really does. Um, yeah, fascinating idea. Thank you for sharing that. Eva will be visiting the US at the end of September, beginning of October. I'm looking forward to stocking up on Halloween decorations. Yes, I bet. Jane, I have to tell my son to be very care to be careful every full moon because when he was young, he did something stupid with an aerosol and a match at the exact moment of the full moon and ended up in a burns unit for a week. Wow, that's that's some kind of <laughs> uh, madness, definitely. Jackie, yes, I have black and orange tinsel and Halloween baubles I've collected or made over the years. It's a black tinsel tree I got cheap in a pound shop. Then it stays decorated. In mid-November, it's redecorated as a creepy Christmas tree. Lots of compass stuff. Excellent. That is fantastic. To have. I'm in awe of you. <laughs> but then I'm in awe of you anyway, because of all your be bewitched botanicals, alchemy. Um, my dog. Louise went to Salem for Halloween a few years ago. It was amazing. I bet it was. Naomi, my washing machine cycle's just finished. See, that was cycle, washing machine cycle. He did that. forget his land out his phone. No, I've told him to, excuse us, I've told him to go to reception and tell him they've, he's forgotten it and I'll give him a guest pass. So unless he phones again, you you don't have to drive all the way back. I did try to find him back, didn't I? Teenagers, so, right? <laughs> I'm sure they have other kids that forget their lanyards. <laughs> 
Xenia, my favourite seasons are spring and autumn, maybe because they're so colourful, there's so much change and it's neither too hot nor too cold. Spring and autumn are interesting, aren't they? Because they are beginnings. They are part of the cycle that starts something. So spring is new beginnings, isn't it? It's fresh, it's starting, it's taking into that summer. And then autumn is the same. Although it is ending of the summer, it's also beginning of the winter. So it is that cycle, isn't it? Definite cycle of things. Charlie, I've thought the same thing about seasons. Wasn't sure if I was imagining it. We always seem to have a sunny summer. I have a pumpkin addiction, love them. My lovely plumptious orange friends. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Plumptious is a good word. Angela, when my girls were little, I didn't put any decorations up until they'd gone to bed on Christmas Eve. Oh, wow. The magic and wonder on their faces on Christmas morning was my and their gift to me. That is fabulous. It should be a magical time, shouldn't it? Uh, Xenia, I want to go to Salem for Halloween for years, maybe one time. I was invited to um, New Orleans this year um, to give a talk, but the um, although uh, they very kindly offered me expenses paid, um, I would have wanted to have stayed for longer and, you know, take and Pete with me and stuff. So finances didn't allow this year. But one day I will get to New Orleans and to Salem. One day. Sephora Sleepy Hallows was a great series to watch for Halloween. I haven't seen that one. Spirit Halloween, is it? They open in September, I think. Excellent. Maria, Ben would end up in Diagon Alley because you said it loud and clear. Have you got your land? I did. But his brain doesn't work that way. He is, think mad professor. Very academic, very full of facts, figures, information. Not so good on the practical stuff. <laughs> Barbara, Halloween is definitely big here in the United States. It does, from their other side of the pond, it does seem to be. Christine, I have a metal tree shaped like a weeping willow that I hang all my little pagan items given as gifts at you all on Halloween. I love it. I'm loving the idea of these Halloween trees. It's brilliant. Jane, autumn has started suddenly in Romford. The energy seems to have changed overnight. I have noticed it for the last couple of weeks. First thing in the morning and last thing at night, it is that crisp chillness in the air. Xenia, my flat is already full of Halloween because my American friend who loves Halloween and horror visits me tomorrow for two weeks. After that, I would decorate for Halloween anyway, so I can also do it now when she's here. Perfect. Perfect. Barbara's a sucker for Halloween decorations. Tony has a black Christmas tree. Do you know, Tony, I'm not surprised. Your decorations are always amazing. Tony has a black Christmas tree used for Halloween. I look forward to seeing the photos. <laughs> Uh, Eva, just have to share a book that I got for Christmas cookies, Advent, by Anja Dunk. Fondest memories are my mum's cookies that she would make for Christmas. Here everyone bakes cookies and gives them to neighbours and friends. I do need to move next door to you, Eva, because your cooking is amazing. Um, but thank you for that reference, recommendation. Emma is currently making my own Sawain decoration, a Sawain gonk. No, oh, fantastic. Oh, we look forward to seeing photos of that too. I'm aware we've gone over the hour, but there's lots of comments, so I don't care. Trudy, confusion within the seasons, the trees especially, conker shells on the park floor under right. Yes, I've noticed that here too. Acorns appeared in early August and the full moon now in Pisces, so for me, double whammy. Brain in overload, but we'll use the dreamy moon to go forward with any ideas and ventures into practice. Yeah, the, I think I think particularly our garden has struggled with the unusual dry, summery few weeks we've had, uh, where it's been ridiculously dry. Not the last week; it's been <laughs> it's been wet enough to build an ark in the last week. But before that, the garden was really struggling, and I think the plants just went into survival mode or not, as the case may be. Angela, I have a Sabbat chandelier. I made it from a hula hoop, some artificial foliage and LED lights, and I changed the decorations according to the seasons and Sabbats using coloured baubles, ribbons, and fresh foliage. 
fantastic idea. Okay, we need to see photos, people, of all these Halloween trees and all these wonderful things you've described today. Do post them on the Kitchen Witch Coven Facebook group. It'd be fabulous to see them all. Uh, Zephora, someone did a beautiful drawing of the Queen, a corgi, dropped bunting and a Paddington bear. Yes, um, Queen saying to Paddington, I'm done now, take me to my husband. There have been some beautiful images and there have been some beautiful poems across social media. Um, it's been fantastic. Uh, Hannah, my Halloween is very low key. I must the only one here who doesn't dress up. I think it has to be. Well, it needs to be for you. It has to be very personal to you. Um, Maria, you'll have to check out Bloody Mary if you get to New Orleans. I will. <laughs> oh no, Barbara, my cat got stuck in my Halloween tree. Not put it up since. That's not good. Um, Christine, I'm watching YouTube with all the American fall decorations that are handmade. I know some of them are amazing, aren't they? Get a lot of ideas for decorations from our lovely sisters and brothers in the US. Thanks, guys. Oh, absolutely. Yes, they've seen some amazing things. Oh, Jackie, Bewitched Botanicals. If you haven't had a look, go and see Bewitched Botanicals. Seek them out. They do some amazing things. Is branching out into homewares. I'm making baubles for Halloween and Yule. Oh, count me in for that. That sounds fantastic. Uh, yes, do have a look at Bewitched Botanicals uh, for that's amazing. Um, I guess that's it, really. Let's see, it says, do you finished? <laughs> well, that was a bizarre chat. Um, very strange time in the UK at the moment. We are definitely on pause. Uh, thank you for um, joining me uh, today on that very strange kind of energy today. Uh, yeah, it is end of an era, beginning of a new one. But, you know, changes, the cycle of life, death and rebirth. It happens. It happens in every aspect of life, I think. So thank you all for joining me. Uh, it has been fascinating as always. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to answer the phone call to teenager. <laughs> uh, Christine, don't go falling asleep and dreaming of rubber chickens. Oh, gosh, I'll try not to. <laughs> um, it is amazing to spend time with you guys every Friday morning. Thank you so much for your input and your insight. And this dog now, because <laughs> he knows I've finished. Uh, have an amazing week, people. Uh, enjoy your cycles not bicycles, enjoy your cycles. Just, yeah, interesting to think about. Uh, take care, everyone, and have a fantastic weekend. <laughs> when the dog lets me, actually. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>